Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming today. It's a real pleasure to welcome all faculty and staff of the College of Engineering to the Blue Bonnet Room of the University of Texas at Arlington for the 2012 State of the College Address. This address is a very special one indeed. It's my first, hopefully not my last. But on the bright side, if it's the last one, it will be even more special. <laughs> anyway, you'll be the judge. But before we get to business, I'd like to continue a tradition and tell a joke that has nothing to do with my speech. So it's about a college student and his dad. Hey, dad, I've got some great news for you. Father responds, hey, what son? Well, uh, do you remember uh, that $500 that you promised me if I made the dean's list? Father said, well, sure, I remember that. Well, you get to keep it. <laughs> so, destiny, this guy's as Walt Disney guided my steps from a very early age. Took me 40 years to realize that my journey through life had been influenced by two TV series I watched as a 10 years old boy growing up in a small town in France. I went to California because of sound, please. And so Zorro led me to California with his agile sword and his fast stallion called Tornado. Now, I came to Texas because of... So, Davy, with his catchy theme songs, led me to Texas. As a boy, I dressed like Davy, with a coonskin cap and carried a long rifle, while pretending to defend the Alamo from the troops of General Santa Ana. Well, now that I'm here, I feel like Texas is my home. But Walt Disney was just a call from destiny and I needed more guidance. In the four months since I joined UTA, my priority has been to listen and learn as much as possible about people, the university, and Texas. During this time, the best part of the learning process was getting to know you. Whether in a meeting, a luncheon, a forum, or in the elevator, on the way to the sixth floor of Nettleman Hall, you have graciously offered your opinions and suggestions. They have been informative 
and appreciated. I spoke to all of these people and I'm still I ask myself, who have I missed? During this conversation, you may have heard me say that my main goals as dean is to facilitate your success as faculty, instructor, researcher, administrator, or staff. I am humbled and honored to lead such an outstanding group of people. Thank you. If you look at the big picture, the College of Engineering is made of many constituencies, not just faculty, staff, and students. Our constituencies are the fabric of the college. They provide us with students. They hire our students. And some are influenced by or benefit from our ideas. In addition to our 300 faculty and staff and 4,200 students, we have 23,000 alumni, countless industry connection and relationship with dozens of other key groups, such as our peers at UTA and at other institutions, politicians, community members. We have a board of advisors led by Johnny Barrett, a retired engineer from Raytheon. The advisory board has been very supportive and engaged. In particular, I'd like to recognize the contribution of Larry Stevens at Lockheed Martin and Wes Jerry, who is the CEO at the Arlington Chamber of Commerce. We are interrelated with many others. And each of these voices will be heard and their opinion valued. One of the best things about the college is the high level of commitments to students, teaching and research exhibited by each and every one of you. It's a strength that our professors look beyond what is currently possible to discover what could be. And it's a strength that they pass along that curiosity to our students. It's a strength that our administrative and professional staffs go out of their way to give students and faculty excellent service and support. It's the strength that we work together with our common goals in mind. Now, did you know that more than 50% of our undergrad students are first-generation college students? I share their experience and understand the challenges of attending college with having a role model at home. I'm also a first-generation college student. My mom and dad could not go to college due to the Second World War in France. Also, also roughly one-third of our students are from countries other than the United States. Our minority representation is good, and our female enrollment exceed the national average. All of the things made our students' body stronger and add to the quality of education we provide. So during these four months, as Dean, I've discovered great people, a great college, and a great university. In my conversations with you, I have learned that engineering is all about people. The college is breaking the mold of engineering. Engineering has historically been viewed as a coal technological field. At UTA, we bring a human dimension to our profession. We bring love. My mother is 81 years old. She lived in a small town in France her whole life with a single phone line. Technology was not something she wanted. However, when my daughter, Catherine Mary, was born six, six months ago, she bought a computer and learned to use the internet so we can Skype with her. She accepted this technology and it has improved the quality of her life. Everything 
we do as engineers, we do it for others, other human beings. We create ways for people to breathe clean air, not filled with pollutants. We make it possible for people to drink clean water, not water containing waterborne disease. We are creating a sustainable planet for future generations. Engineering is about the people we work with, about the people we teach, about the people whose quality of life will improve because of the work we do in the College of Engineering. Because of you and your tireless commitment to people, I am happy to report that the state of our college is strong. As an administration, it is important that we facilitate the success of the students, faculty, and staff. I want to thank President Spaniolo, Provost Selsenbomer, the Vice Provost and the Deans of the other college and schools at UTA for their support. And I want to mention two persons who have made invaluable contribution to the college. Dean Bill Carroll, who hired excellent people and led many improvements in the physical infrastructure of the college. I'd like also to recognize interim Dean Ariam Armanios, who left the college in great shape for me for a smooth transition. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Ariam. So we have made great strides in breaking down barriers on this campus and realizing the value of interdisciplinary education and research. I must commend you on your contribution to the college growth. Many of you collaborate with your peers at other institutions, and there have been efforts this spring to increase collaboration between the College of Engineering and other schools and colleges here at the university. Thank you, Anan Pupala, for helping in building collaboration between colleges. Thank you, Anand. I would like also to acknowledge the work of the department chairs within the College of Engineering. Soon, we will see two new department chairs with the impeding change in leadership in the Department of Civil Engineering and Industrial and Manufacturing System Engineering. Another addition is a new leader at ARI. Rick Lynch. Rick, a recently retired Army Lieutenant General with a background in robotics, has been named Executive Director of ARI. In his previous position, General Lynch managed all 163 Army installations around the world, a workforce of 120,000 people, and an annual budget of nearly $13 billion. So we are very fortunate to have rig among us. So while drafting the speech, I asked myself, what does this speech mean to the college? Well, it's all about bringing together the people most committed to his success, you, the main stakeholders. And I think we have three major objectives. Reaffirm the vision, mission, and goal of the college, review its accomplishments over the last year, and define where we go next 